I don't. I never really know how to start these things. Yeah, I bet it'd be weird. It it is very weird doing it in front of other people. Mm -hmm. You got this. We already started. That was the intro. Oh well, hello. <laughs> I love doing that. I love throwing people into like just cold opens without them realizing they're in cold opens and seeing how they respond because I'm a sadistic asshole and I I like doing that sort of shit. It seems better than not. It, it is better than not. It's more fun for me. So I'm going to be video editing this later. Anyways, welcome everybody. I'm joined here by Tanner underscore L. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah, you can just call me Tanner. Oh, could I just call you underscore? I mean, go for it. Oh, I thought you'd be more against. Anyways, uh, I digress. Uh, Tanner being, I'm assuming, one of the creators. I don't know, the sole creator? I would say I'm the main creator. The main creator of worlds collide and uh we're gonna get a behind the scenes view today of some of the uh, mechanics and other such things that other content creators have not discovered yet correct so we're gonna fly around for the next hour in our time probably 15 20 minutes when i'm done editing it down and whatever shenanigans ensue ensues so tanner where are we yes well this is the introductory zone um i kind of just tried to make this an area to get the players familiar with the mechanics they're going to be expecting throughout the map i didn't go perfectly but i think with a lot of the updates that i've added it kind of helped maybe players understand a little bit more what they're expecting is this new this must be new yeah, i don't new. remember this and you can get saddles now Oh, hell. Did you look at that? The main reason I left those out is because they're a little bit game-breaking, but at the point that people were missing out on having horses and it's such a large map, I just figured let them break the game and if they want to. And it, it doesn't really matter. You can just skip a couple dungeons. Really? Wow. So... Because like one of the one of the mechanics blocking players from actually progressing is block jump height. So if you can jump two blocks or more, you can skip parts of dungeons. And you've done this all completely practical with all these dungeons completely practical yeah. with either physical I, boundaries or redstone. Like there's no command blocks in this thing, right? I built it with command blocks, mm -hmm. but I there's no command blocks left in the map. Um, so it's it's all practical. Yeah, it's it's all practical, and I can show you some of the more intense redstone. Okay, yeah, I love tents. Why can you well, only a, uh, a ran in a? Why can you only ran in a camp in a campground? Why can I only ran in a campground? Yeah. I don't know because it's past tense. And it's horror. Correct. Um, so this whole nether area, these ones, yes, I the, thought would be a, a really cool touch. The absolutely insane parkour that I gave up on way too fast. I think the problem with them is that people that are playing adventure maps aren't the same people who are enjoying hard parkour. Correct. So, like, if you're looking for hardcore core then you're not going to want to play this map but i thought it would be a fun like add on to it but if i could go back and change anything i would remove all these nether sections because i think they just frustrate people well isn't it's that like, the whole point of the worlds collide that the nether is uh uh coming into the real option. world the main world yeah i mean i could have spent i could have spun the story and any direction but i don't know it's it's a lot of learning in this whole big map process because like building the whole map took me over a year and over a thousand hours of my personal time so it was a lot of work and a lot of guesswork to what people would like to because i i've never really made a game before but like, hell, I don't think I've even thrown a thousand hours sleeping. 
10 out of 10. Yeah, it was it was a lot. But here's our first secret that no one's found yet. Oh. Right down oh. here. I thought this would be visible from the land, but I don't think it's very visible. A diver. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, wow, those are really good boots. This dude's so just more... been down here the whole time? Yeah, he's been down here since you played. Also, speaking of when you played, the map was so buggy, but it's it's a lot better now. So was it a miracle that I even completed it at all? The only parts that were crucial, that were kind of broken, were finding Dungeon 1, which you found fine, and mm -hmm. finding Dungeon 3, which you also found fine. Yeah, finding Dungeon 1, I kind of took the alternate path there, if I remember. It's been a, no, you it's, just swim across. You basically yeah, skipped the tutorial. Yeah, I skipped the tutorial. I'm that good. I've been playing Adventure Match for seven years. I think I know how they work. It's, oh, pirate booty. I did not explore this ship. Tell me there's about a, this ship. A, there's a bunch of smite books in here. I didn't actually make the ship, um, but I did copy and paste ah. it all over the world. Uh Basically, the idea here is all the corruption in the world is spreading, and they've called in paladins to come help. Oh. And it, it's not, like, obvious. There's not a ton of story here, but I'm, I'm trying to employ visual storytelling throughout the map a lot. Like, you can see over there on the floating islands, there's a brand new one growing out of the ground here. So this, in my visual storytelling will eventually become one of those. Has this guy That's been here the whole well. time? Okay, I was no, about to say, I don't recognize him. I tried to add some more quests in, because I felt that the uh, side questing was very lacking. I got really burnt out right before launch, so I kind of had like a bit of a hasty launch um, about halfway through... Um, the design and build, I lost, you know, a lot of help. So it was sure. just me making the map at the end. So it was a lot of, like, I could spend more time on this, but I just want to release it. And obviously you've been continuing to make updates and supporting the map since its initial release. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it did. Like, people seem to really like it and that's what are your uh helped. what are your map statistics at right now like how many i only know i only usually peruse around uh, minecraft uh, what is it minecraft maps.com i usually that's... kind of avoid planet minecraft it's just too much stuff to sift through to find decent Ours... maps yeah the map never got traction on planet minecraft never does it's uh minecraft adventure maps is where the couple of map creators i've talked to that's where they get the the downloads Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we hit, we're at uh, 12.5k right now, which is really good. Jeez. But... Okay, is there some overpowered sword in this area that I missed? Oh, there's another secret uh, that no one's found that I don't expect anyone to find that's down here. Are you kidding me? Wait, I don't see. It's behind you. Huh! That would have been handy. So wait, you so can't like, actually get to this until you have uh, like a fire, fire resistance, resistance potion, right? So you you have to have completed dungeon eight, which is the second to last one, to get into that area. That would have been There's really like, nice. Yeah, that's a very well hidden hidden thing. There's a lot of stuff that no one's found. These um, you see, like this here. I do a now. Right under it. There's a bunch of those hidden throughout the map. I would have never thought to look. I I remember using that mechanic at the what was it the witch's hut. Right, and I it's been yeah, a hot no, second since I played th the map. But. Yeah, this this is um this is the mechanic for the, the witch's hut. But then unlocks a lot of gold throughout the map if the player like really wants to gear out. I find that I really thought the whole making your own gear thing would sit with would resonate well with people. But I think 
if I were to do it again or recommend it to other map creators, I would have just given out special loot and had shops. Yeah, adventure mats typically, from the, ones, from the vast majority that I've played, you don't make your own loot. You just... As, yeah, you, per, as you progress, you gear up, and the yeah. map usually scales... The gear usually scales with the map that you find, or you're rewarded for going out of your way with... It almost feels like cheating in an adventure map if you're crafting your own stuff. Like, it just doesn't quite vibe with the adventure... Because at that point, you're doing survival. And that feels... Well, this whole map feels very survival, besides for you can't break blocks. Yeah. And I thought it would be a fun, like, ooh, this is different about this map, you know. I, I went back through since your videos, and I've added a lot more, oh, I found a cool piece of loot, kind of loot throughout the map. Oh, there's, yeah, if you swim down to the end of this tunnel, there's a bunch of gold once you get the turtle helmet. Um, what else? Out of here. There we go. Haha. <laughs> uh, let's see here. The king and queen upstairs. Anything hiding around by uh, anything around by them? There's there's a lot of stuff hidden everywhere. But if we'll probably just get out of the castle. I think it's pretty much seen. Mm -hmm. But this area here with the bows and the people selling the projectile or power books. I really wish I'd put this at the pit would be I don't think I ever came in here oh ah sabotaging myself lord you really did hide gold just everywhere I yeah I'd say you found maybe 10% of it so we can just head through the dungeons linearly I think right. now okay so dungeon one the weird floating island uh, this is weird floating island gem level. Yeah, this is the dungeon I took the most time on. It's certainly Each a very one... impressive uh, showpiece. Yeah, I'm I'm glad I made it dungeon one and I didn't hide it later in the map. Nah, you really uh, want to wow them with your first dungeon. I placed all these bottom decorations down here, all these vines and leaves and. You did that berry. manually. Yeah, I did this manually. Gross. It probably it probably took me like ten hours just oh. placing, because they're not even they're not even straight lines. They're like decorated, and it was horrible. Uh, one of my favorite secrets that no one has ever found mm -hmm. is the giant melon that you can parkour down to. Oh, it's just is there anything in the melon or oh oh there we go. Well, as I as a as I as an adventure map player would not have suspected that there was anything beneath here worthwhile. Yeah, I would be too scared, honestly, to try and parkour down there. Yeah, I thought of it as like a oh, I finished the dungeon, might as well try this kind of thing. But it, it's would, fine if people didn't find things. I, I would have never I even I, I would have never even noticed that because you take the lily pads over here. Nothing yeah, I necess really. Go on. Oh, go for it. I keep cutting you off. I'm so sorry. I'm not good at this YouTube thing. Uh, nah, neither am I. Don't feel bad. So right-click on the... Yeah, because you're not even drawn over to that part of the map. Or under normal circumstances, you're not drawn over there unless you want to take a picture of the of the castle. And even then, you're not typically coming over on this side of the... So is there a lot of that where there is definitely the main path, but if a if a person is to really explore the extremes of the map, you're definitely rewarded with, I'm going to say giant melons. That's not offensive, right? Like, I can say nice uh, melon, and that's... I think it is actually a giant melon. It is a giant melon, yes. Um, Perfect. Nice melons. There's a lot of me trying to make the player go the right way, mm -hmm. but rewarding them for exploring. Being a... Now, this was probably, I think, one of the coolest parts of the map. You like getting the first item? No, I liked blowing up the map. <laughs> ah, memories. That felt good. I should have put more of that in. 
maybe so how, I will. So how much trial and error did it take to to get that part to work how you wanted, or did you just place the TNT block and figure good enough? It worked the first time. I mean, I tried it, but it worked. Beautiful. How do you get here? Oh, right, the glider. So, all of these, you can get to all of these iden, uh, islands. I can actually show you. Let's get us some um, Riptide. There's a trick that no one has really figured out, and I can show you it at dungeon, at the witch dungeon again. Mm -hmm. But you can use Elytra and uh, a Trident at the same time to get a ton of hype. And I tried to teach the player that without telling them that. Yeah, that's really hard to do. That's like going back to like proper MMO design. Yeah. Which is really hard to master. All so these islands are possible to get to? Yeah, I can show you. So like, um, if you go over here, you can start from this island, I think. Uh, this might be too low. You might have to get to that higher island. Now you've got me very curious. I would have Here's assumed you'd just try and wing it up to that island. You might have to. I can't remember. Here's an elytra. Um, and then if we go into adventure mode, you can throw a trident and spam spacebar. Mm -hmm. And really get hype. My god, what kind of sorcery is that? I tried to teach the player on the top of the witch dungeon. There's a little block of water. Mm-hmm. So, like, it doesn't look possible, but it's actually a really fun way to traverse the map. And you don't always get it, but that's the idea. Oh. That's cool. Learn something new every day. I learned this while making the map. And of course you had to implement it. Oh yeah. It was just like a side thing though, so. If players didn't figure it out, which they didn't, no harm, no foul. Oh, there you are. All right, where are we go off to next? Dungeon two. That's like one more than one. But at we the same time, one less than three. <laughs> we could just go to three. Dungeon two is not my favorite. Oh wait, what's this? Is this new? That's, um, so if you head north a little bit, there's a less ruined version of it. It's, it's a completely, oh, it's decayed a, one of those. Oh, how, how, how the hell did I miss this? I didn't go this way because I went right to dungeon two. Huh. Oh, wow. I could have used that. The best gear you can get early is by fighting the killer rabbit. <laughs> oh, the... oh, also, I don't know if anyone found this over here. Don't tell me there's like a tiny little hole in the ground that you got to fall through. There's Excalibur over here. What? Yeah, it's Excalibur. So, I don't think people really got it, but this is supposed to be a sword. And then there's a button back here. Hmm? Oh! I just have to hit that button. Wow! So, you can get some pretty good loot early on if you look around. Strange woman lying in, in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. Don't forget that. I, I will never forget that. Good. Good. Uh, I wish I'd put more bosses in the map. You know how luck, um, your friend uh, Mick mm -hmm. puts a lot of cool bosses in. I wish I had done more of that. That's kind of a regret of mine, but I don't want to retroactively change the map too much. He's also doing that with like stupid amounts of um, command blocks. Yeah, I could have done it on a on a smaller scale though. Like I could have made skeletons ride dolphins and oh, stuff. Oh like yeah, stupid stuff. this dungeon. I I nerfed it. He's Thank like too hittable now. Thank God. 
I don't even think I ever killed him. I think I just... Uh, I, <laughs> I think I, I ran the other the, way around and... I intended the player to lure him out. <laughs> and then run past him. I... Because he's he was pretty unkillable. Yes, can confirm. <laughs> can, he was very unkillable and very scary. Did you get that this was meat? I honestly don't remember. It's been a it's been a few months since I've played. Cause I don't I don't think anyone I don't think they got that this was supposed to be like a roasted pig. So let's continue on. Uh any questions? I don't really have much to add. Was there anything uh hidden in like super hidden in here? No. I remember this dungeon this... being frustrating. That's about I'm afraid that was the only part that I really remember about this one, is that this one was this one I, sucked to try and get through. I nerfed it. Thank God. There, I, I had no playtesters at all. The only person, or the only people playtesting it were uh, me and Noel. So. Well, if you hang around this channel long enough, you'll have playtesters coming out your ears. Speaking of uh, playtesters, I'm not working on Minecraft maps, but I am making a Steam game. You're making a Steam game? Now, yep. is it a game on Steam or a game about Steam? Uh, a game that will be distributed by Steam. You're a game developer? Not yet. Oh, you're developing a game. Yeah. Oh. Is this the uh, Full Metal Alchemist? Am I allowed oh, to make yeah. that joke? Huh. Um, Ocean of Strength, plus three attack. This would be the, the, really, the really buff um, general or whatever he was. So, if I remember... Oh, wait. Wow, there really is just shit all over the place. Yeah. When distributing, like, secrets and stuff, did you design the whole map first, or at least get the general layout, copy and paste all the resources in, and then deter determine... I think I lost here, but so, then... And then just flood the whole thing with secrets? Yeah, so we made the whole island first, before anything then designed the layout of the dungeon system mm -hmm. then built and populated both dungeons and secrets at the same time oh okay that makes sense now what was this thing supposed to be so do you know those nether portals you see throughout the map yeah this is a giant old version of it so like way in the past oh big nether portal and you see this um skeleton in the yes like he came out of that dear god nice and there's there's a sword in his head all of these rusted swords are um hero sword wow that's a really good sword. Yeah, I can see how this whole thing is just clogged with secrets. I can see how somebody would get, would miss like, well, in my case, 90% of the secrets. Oh, yeah. And it makes me happy that players find different things because it's like you can have a different experience than your friend playing it. So we can look at some redstone now if you want. Oh boy. Oh, it was just here this whole time. Oh my sweet crap. This is the, is this the weird timer thing? Yeah, this is the time you're um, drowning machine. It also has anti, um, anti multiplayer mechanics in there so like if someone's standing on the tripwire hooks while someone's in it it won't trigger again until it's done so it's it's a lot of hopper clocks and um uh like bud switches and stuff it's i'm not the best at redstone but i feel like i did pretty good here i wasn't doing it multiplayer so uh yeah it worked it didn't kill me when it Let's see here. It didn't kill me, so it, it it worked great. 10 out of 10. I, I watched someone's video about... Uh, or that was playing multiplayer. And it, it did actually function how I wanted, so that was good. Ah, uh, the, the water dungeon. 
This one was cool. Thank you. I think this one I ended up. This one, yeah, I broke it into two parts. I thought the I thought the drowning. Uh, what I really liked about the map was one that it was pretty much all practical, no command blocks. You don't see that a lot anymore. Harkening back to Destiny, you know, classic adventure map, uh, like your Assassins of Steves and things like that. But I really, I really liked how dungeons were prohibited by items. So, like in this one, if you didn't get the super breathy helmet, you're dead. You're not getting into the dungeon. Yeah, I, th I thought that I... did a very good job at forcing players to, you know. You have to go here, to go here, to go here, to go here, because everything builds on top of the other thing. Yeah, it's kind of like Zelda-esque. Oh, this done this part. I think I repressed this, like, really hard. The spiders. <laughs> I think I re <laughs> repressed hard. this super hard. It, it kind of dips into, I wanted there to be things for, like, everyone. Like, if you didn't want to do that part, you never had to. Mm-hmm. I don't think I ever uh, figured out this room. So this is... Or if there was anything to figure out here. It's just like a story room. Oh, there's a pretty cool secret here. Here. You can have this. You can pick that up in adventure mode. And then you can put it in this pot right here. What it's over up? here. That one. Oh, respiration. Handy. So what's this, what is the story element you're trying to convey here? This looks just like a lab that the Nether is spawned in on. So basically in the uh, logs, which are, there's four logs here, it um, uh, covers a period of time where like a scientist went caving, found this Nether portal, which in my visual storytelling is like the creation of the portal like goo, you see this purple stuff mm -hmm. from the old portal, that large one up top of the dungeon. It also has purple down at the bottom, so it seeped into the ground and is growing this tiny portal. Oh! So in the logs, he stores a bunch of the the portal substance using these piping, and eventually it corrodes and seeps into the earth. And then that's why all the nether portals are strewn throughout the map. Oh. Very simply. Because this guy, this stupid scientist guy, couldn't leave well enough alone. Absolutely. Oh my god, it's Jurassic Park. <laughs> uh, what did we get at the end of this one for an item? Leather boots. Leather boots. Right, so you could walk through the frozen dun uh, the frozen terrain area. And I wish I had done that earlier, because leather boots are such a bad reward that it would have been good as, like, Dungeon 2. Yeah, throw an enchantment on it, it would have been kind of neat. Like a thorns or something. Oop, I'm stuck. How do I get stuck in the cream? Also, um, I added a bunch of bottles of enchanting. I see there that. was a lot of confusion to, um, you know... Why don't mobs drop XP? Huh, I guess I never noticed. So mobs don't drop XP or items because one of the uh, rewards is a bow. And you could just farm that by uh, killing skeletons. Oh, okay. So I had to turn off mob drops, which, you know, is not... Let's go Let's go the proper way. Go the so proper way. Around. Um, that's not the worst thing in the whole world. I don't think it took away too much from the map, but it really ended up confusing people. I can't say I noticed. I'm also oblivious to everything, so I wouldn't use me as like a... I wouldn't use me as a uh, control I, group. I really enjoyed your playthrough, though. Oh, thank you. It was very good. Thank you, I worked very hard on it. Yeah, I saw um, this area is not very interesting. Yeah. I didn't actually make this dungeon. Well, the dungeon I thought was cool. I thought this area could use something. There's like, there's some secrets here. And by but, something, yeah. I mean it could use literally anything. Like, yeah. give me a tree. I, give me, like, a giant Christmas tree. Something. Or, like, a giant abominable snowman foot. Anything. 
Yeah, I, I tried to do that with the updates. I added some parkour, and there's a little puzzle down here that's easy. Oh, hey, there's a little... Oh, there's a crack in here now. You broke the map, there's a crack in it. Just gonna... Nice. I added these blimps up here that you haven't seen. You've added blimps? Oh, yeah. Uh, hot air balloons, not blimps. Oh, wow. Did you look at that? Hot air balloon pilot. Wow. Those are really good books of enchanting. Um. Wait, ice dungeon. We have to go back. You want to do the ice dungeon? We can do the ice dungeon. That's a good idea. I mean, we did dungeons one, two, and three. You know, I had a I had a lot of ridic ridicule for this one. I got a lot of like hard comments uh, that like you know the map was quite bad, so I try to avoid this one. <laughs> the dungeon was bad. Well, the dungeon Oop, itself has a lot of ah. There issues. we go. I'm I'm through. There we go. I I. I Crap, I keep sinking into the ground. Where are the boots? You gotta wear your leather boots. I need to... Nope, I'm committed at this point. I'm too stubborn. But uh, this dungeon can have a lot of problems, or did have a lot of problems with difficulty if you don't... If you stick around in the area for a long time before doing the dungeon. So were, it can be way too hard. Were people complaining about too much spawn? Yeah. Ah, uh, but like, those are the people that didn't grow up with the Vex super hostile maps. I loved those maps. I loved watching people punish themselves doing those maps. Wait, has that TNT always been there? Yep. It's disappointing. It doesn't blow up. Oh yeah, water. Wow, I missed a ton. I think well, I'm just trying to survive guardians at this point. It, there's a lot of guardians. I like the whole run element of the map. Because there's some parts you just don't want to fight. Hehe. <laughs> That's going to be a serotonin for me. I think I added that later. I think people really liked that. Just the... Here, have a gold. The little bloop of a gold, yeah. Okay, now how do I get out? You just go up the water stream. Uh, so it's in the bow room, and then right below the gold dispenser, there's a little puddle that you can swim in. Oh... It's remarkable that I didn't get more lost when I ran through this. This is so much nicer in creative mode. <laughs> uh, up here, something people never found. Bigfoot? The Yeti? The Abominable it's Snowman? Like Nepal. It's Nepal. Yeah, it's definitely Nepal. Nailed it. Reminds me of that Family Guy skit. Uh, what do we call this mountains? It looks like it looks like a nipple. Well, we can't just call it nipple. What if we call it Nepal? Oh. Oh! Holy crap, man. I could have really used this. You were holding out on me. I Maybe also. You were holding out on you? I was holding out on me. Well, I didn't think to climb Mount Son of a Bitch. No one did. Wow. Shall we go to my second favorite dungeon? Uh, that's the the pit. Oh yeah, I like the pit. The pit confused me, but I liked it. Um, it was a bitch to me. <laughs> All right, here's your shovel. Have fun. 
Oh, also, probably uh, a shameless plug for Tanner. He needs playtesters. Hey, if I... I got you. So, let's say I publish this Steam game. Do you want to playtest it? If I have the time. I have a lot of projects in the funnel right now. If I have the time, I will happily okay, play so, it. So, we're talking, like, a year out. I will probably have the time. Okay. Okay, Pit, hit me with it. What's going on here? This is a hole in space time. Certainly a that hole. That causes um, insanity. Just simply. Oh, I recall dying here a lot. Yes, I can confirm the insanity. Yeah, see? You got what I was going for. I added like some cool parkour oh, up here this stupid yep i remember this one now i remember I this dungeon i hate you but to, to be honest you you had pretty like uh bad gear trying to do a pretty hard dungeon yeah i, I didn't know that there was all this, this one i didn't know that there was gear <laughs> like all this gear around <laughs> oh wait is this like a little oh these are just Okay, never mind. Those are just idiots. They got stuck on a ledge. They fell from up top. Yes. Uh, this dungeon, I quite like. Come on, server, but... work with me. Oh, nice, it worked. I feel like I would have liked it more if I wasn't like being beaten to the ground by everything that was here. But yeah, again, I think, like you said, I must have a low level. Yeah. No. Uh, if you don't have good gear for this one, it kind of hurts. Can confirm. Um, if you fly off to the side, it's supposed to be the progression of that island through time, but it loops. So, like, young, uh, adolescent, you know, medium, adult, and then really old back oh. at the beginning. Oh. That's cool. That's really cool. Oh, the skeleton row. Yes, I definitely hate you. I, this killed me a lot. Yeah. Oh, it was horrible. I loved it. I really like this dungeon. I think it is hard, but fun enough that it frustrates without... It, it's kind of like... Um... This asshole. If you'll excuse me, I have some unfinished business. Here, let me open the gates. <sighs> He's gone. Ah, it's therapeutic. Oh, uh, also, this is kind of funny. If you come up here, this is all concrete. Wait, what? What the hell? Uh, if I didn't place that there, the Enderman spawned way too hard. <laughs> so I, I had to place something, and I was like, that doesn't look too bad if we put black concrete up here. Actually, no, it doesn't. I... I had no clue, but again, I'm I'm super unobservant and should definitely not be your control group for like anything. Uh oh, I just won. Oh, that was cool. It's not supposed to kick us back here. To the pit. It's it actually kicks you to wherever your last um, spawn point was. Oh, apparently I haven't set a spawn point. That's the Oops. that's the spawn point of the map. Yeah. Oops. We're doing good. We're close to the next one. Okay, yeah. What was the next one? Was it that um it's the big tree. It's the big tree. I'm getting PTSD all of a sudden. That was the switch biome. Oh, I really like the giant slime you found. I know you never got the gear from it, but you can spawn in really large slimes, and I thought it was quite funny. I don't, jerk. I don't. I, I don't know if I died to that one or not. I should have like rewatched all my footage just so I had like recall like everything I did. I think I've seen your playthrough like three times. Ah, you're the reason I hit nine views that month. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're the reason you hit nine views that first day. <clears throat> dope so oh so i have to ask yeah what's with the giant ass dragon oh it's it's just a set piece 
Okay, thank God. I remember that scaring the hell out of me. Do I have to deal with this too, on top of everything else? So not being too good at command blocks, I was gonna, like, make a really cool dragon fight for, like, the very end. I'm happy you went with the wither. Yeah, me too. But when I spawned in a dragon, you know, just to, like, mess around with it in the test world, mm -hmm. it, it just flew in a circle. It's a cool set so, dressing. Yeah, so this is its egg. That's what that is. Set my spawn point here. Is there anything in it? Uh, I don't think so. Can confirm. Oh yeah, this puzzle. You, str you struggled with this, but um, there's actually a really easy way to do it. Are you kidding me? You can just do it that way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I hate you. I hated this boat. This boat sucked. This boat killed me. Yeah. I had to cheese the hell out of this boat. <laughs> yeah. How do I, I get to the to... next boat? Let me kill everything from the next boat over. I tried to ramp up the per uh, the difficulty. I uh, noticed. Over time. And I don't think I did fantastic at it, but it definitely got harder after Dungeon 3. Can confirm. <laughs> Screwed up my deathless run. Oh, the armor stand thing. Yeah, this one was cool. That was a cool added feature. Ah, oh, therapy. Oh, I remember uh, you said you wish this crane was climbable. So I made it climbable. Oh, it's climbable. Oh my gosh, it's climbable. Do you get anything for climbing the crane? You do. A book. I love it. Oh, there's a oh, there's a chain here. This is cool. I like the crane. I'm a sucker for industrial districts. That's my aesthetic. Ooh, before we move on to the to the witch dungeon, was there any other like big secrets here in the pit? It's um, like this is a sprawling area. Yeah. I'm sure I missed a ton. Yeah, there's there's things people didn't find here. Let's let's go explore this. The thirsty I probably pig. should have I probably should have walked through this before we did this video. But I think in here one of these buttons. Yeah, this takes you to the roof. Oh! Nailed it. First shot. And then you can do some extremely difficult parkour. Oh joy. Get up here. And this would be how you get some good loot. The weird jumpy puzzles. Oh my sweet Christ. Uh, I should have explored more. No, this wasn't that wasn't in the game when you played. Oh. This was me trying to Then I regret nothing. Make the map better. I regret nothing. I, actually, I should have explored less. I think anyone playing now versus release will have a lot better time. Is it more bal is it uh, more balanced? I balanced now? it better. I added more interesting things. So <laughs> there's I didn't put a ton of extra time into it because I was kind of done with it. But the features that I feel were added were like very valuable. Okay, what do you get for killing the giant slime while we're here? A bunch of protection leather gear. Oh. He's hard to even hit. You have to, like, kill him with a bow. Oh. Did you wander off? Nope, I'm here. Oh, wow. That's really good. My, my, my. How the turntables have turned. That's also, cool. Also, the slime, the slime has a chance of splitting into two, three, or four pieces, and it split into four pieces for you, so it was pretty funny. I just got dicked over on that stupid slime. Oh, look at the little froggies now! I know, aren't they cute? That's adorable. <sighs> I'm just gonna kick down the door. How does this feel? Huh? Ah, <sighs> uh, 
therapeutic. <laughs> oh, look at the little froggies. That's so adorable. I love the frogs and the axolotls. And this is yeah. where we got that. This is where we got the trident. So this is this is my visual explanation. I was trying to tell you about earlier. Oh, you the... can from here. Mm -hmm. You can get that crate right there. Oh, I remember this crate. Those are really good pants. I was I not come. tooled up enough. Oh, I didn't get it. You nailed it. Thank you. I like the little spinny thing the Elytra does when you do that. You do yeah. like a barrel rolling. I'm coming in. There we go. I didn't quite get it. Oh, no, but I, I think okay. I get the point. Yeah, I was definitely not kitted up enough for this. I don't even remember at what point I did kit up. With with the style of um, gear in this map, mm -hmm. I don't think many people actually do kit up, which is probably bad game design. Also, and, we're, as adventure map players, are gluttons for punishment. Yeah. I would, I would recommend to anyone, if they make an adventure map, give players gear instead of the ability to buy gear. Yeah. I never wanted to spend the money because I didn't know if something else would be be around. And I'm before, really, I'm really before glad I... it's the last map. Yeah, it's I'm really glad place. I added the expensive sword that you bought because everyone loves that. I do like big sword. I do like big sword. Oh, big little sword. axolotls. I actually really like this area. I'm a sucker for mushroom biomes. Yeah, you, you told your whole story. Yep. I liked it. <sighs> Two girls, one Minecraft. Yes, that was that was the name. Back when I started playing in 1.2.5. Ah, the good old days. Ooh, I didn't notice this. Uh, I go back a little bit further. What was over here? Was there something there's over this a, way? Yeah, it's a little shop. Oh, I remember this. I think I got sidetracked. Yeah, the alchemist. Yeah, potion of regen. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a pirate ship under, like, a pirate ship around here that I... Yeah, it's over here. Oh, yeah, this takes me back. Yeah, this takes me back. Yeah, that was uh, two months ago. Yeah. I think it's four at this point. Oh, sweet Christ. Yeah, this thing. I remember this. Yeah, this was this was a cool little thing to go in and deal with. Good ship. The map, the map was too big. It was really hard to populate. Yeah, everybody wants to do like an open world, massive map until they gotta put shit in it, and you can only copy and paste the same tree so many times. So the other, the other designer uh, wanted to make the map twice this size, and I talked him down to half the size. We thank you. Started with yeah. Me too. On behalf of all content creators everywhere, thank you. And my and my sanity. Oh, there's a little birch forest here. I definitely did not hit this up last time I was here. An explorer. That's cool. Yeah, I definitely missed this area. This is cool. Oh, I put a bunch of potion crafting ingredients in the map, like gunpowder and stuff. I think. I wouldn't do that again because no one's crafted potions. <laughs> yeah, the, we're we've been kind of conditioned over years of playing adventure maps. Like I said, if you're crafting, you're pro you think you're breaking the game. Eh, is what it is. Okay, this. Oh yeah, this this place. I like this build. I do too. I didn't like trying to parkour it. You Actually, can... no. I only fell off once. I think it was pretty. I think I did pretty okay. You can kind of cheese this one. Are you kidding me? You just, like, jump the candles the whole way up? You can do the elytra spam thing. And, like, skip over quite a few. Oh my gosh, that would have been so handy. 
Has anybody taken the candles all the way up? I don't think so. I don't know if you, you probably could. Probably could. Ah, the airship. I don't know. This kind of reminded me of like Bowser, of like Mario and Bowser for some reason. I thought this was really funny, but I, I don't know. It's a castle on a quadcopter. Yeah, I thought that was I thought that was cute too. I I, I picked that I picked up on that right away. What was in here? Oh, yeah, this guy. I personally thought this dungeon was way too easy. If you okay, because like it seems hard, um, but if you get up on one of these ledges here, oh, in one of these, like you can just. Take your time and shoot everything, and it's kind of boring. Yeah, that's what I ended up doing. I was having none of whatever that... I was having none of this thing. I mean, if you stay down on the bottom, it's it's quite a fun, fast-paced fight. Mm -hmm. But if you get up in the rafters, it's just like... GG, uh, I guess easy. I'm going to take enough time to shoot things, yeah. And then back here, there it is. Hey. Break the wall. I want to get happening. through. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh, <laughs> we broke the chest. I win! I've hit the jackpot! Oh. Okay, I'm out. Oh, there you are. Okay, that's oh. dungeon... This is eight. This is the second to last one. This is the second to last one. What was the last one? To remember That's now. the fighting the wither. Oh yeah, the wither. That was cool. I like that the wither was the final boss. Do you want to see the torture bridge? It's kind of awful. Torture bridge? Why do you call it the torture bridge? So, do you see these cords? Oh my gosh. Along the bridge. So, to make this kind of... Uh, decoration you have to attach it to a mob <laughs> so there's a ton of rabbits oh my god i just hung a rabbit by it <laughs> so, so, so oh my sweet christ <laughs> what have you done i'm just gonna we can just go i'm oh oh he's oh god i <laughs> leaving i'm just making things worse i'm leaving also there's stairs everywhere and I think you missed the stairs everywhere. I did miss the stairs everywhere. Again, I'm a glutton for punishment. There's also paths everywhere. Yes, I also missed those. Again, glutton for punishment. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Nice. So where was... So then we get the, the broken-ass sword from uh, the king and queen, right? And then I hide, and that yeah. Then I hightailed it over to kill the wither, and I was done. And free myself from this hellscape at the time. Um, I like the giant fields. That was, that was cool. Yeah, they look cool. Yeah. No, I, I really appreciate you um, pioneering the playthroughs because it was very fun to watch and you seem to be having quite a fun time so that was really nice oh yeah i will never i will never like hardcore ridicule a map i would yeah i cannot i cannot ridicule a map because i myself cannot build one nor will i ever build one i know better i saw i saw you get frustrated at oh yeah I will, map. I will get and frustrated I yes you handled it very well oh yes i get frustrated at maps but i will beat them I will definitely call out when I get frustrated and what they could do to make improvements. I will not criticize without making suggestions. People who cr people who criticize without providing without providing of oh there seems to be some pigment. Huh? Well, let's just let's just see. Oh, I updated this fight. But it seems to be a little broken. Maybe I'll update it again. It might need a it might need a, a touch up. It's fine. Wow, this guy's taking no prisoners. <laughs> we can just escape to the end. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. 
I updated the end, so it feels much more grandiose. Finish it now. What? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is cool. Oh, this map really is just absolutely massive. You can come up here. Oh, oh. oh hey, look at that. Oh, that's much better. Use fireworks while gliding to revisit. Ah, oh, that's new. Is yeah, it? I thought I thought it might no, this is all new. Not gonna lie, I didn't think the princess bubblegum head was you. Thank you. You're welcome, I think. Oh, this is really this is really cool. So we're here. Wait, where are where is here? Yeah, we're right here. We're right here, okay. So that's the starter village. You're supposed to go there. There's that. I can't believe the size of this map. This is just absolutely nuts. And you know, I think it was pretty decently packed with with stuff for the for the size of it. I, I do think that the little snow biome over here, it could use just like a little something else. Just I don't know, like a tree. Give me like a giant Christmas tree. Or a big foot foot. I might do that. We'll yeah, see. That's pretty cool. But outside of that, I really thought that the map was very well packed and Pretty awesome for just generally awesome. I haven't played a practical effects map in a very long time. Thank you. Yeah, it was a lot of work. I wouldn't recommend anyone to do an open world map. It's not, you don't get the same amount of um, bang for your buck for the amount of effort you put in. I'm going through one right now that they definitely put in a lot of effort into it. And I think it's pretty well scripted. They're using a lot of command blocks and able to script things very nicely. Mm -hmm. do, do you have, I guess, before we close here, is there any other maps that you have in the future? Future plans, or is it just your Steam game that you're developing? Uh, I, had, I had this one project, and... I think this one project is enough for anybody. Yeah. Work, worked really hard on it. I'm actually proud of the whole map and i'm happy leaving it there and i think it's given me a lot of experience in game development you'll never honestly. put yourself through this hellscape again yeah uh smart man work smarter not harder yeah you don't but, need a giant map for it to be good it certainly doesn't help it certainly doesn't hurt the set pieces but it doesn't need to be a big map to be good mm -hmm. my god could you imagine if this thing was twice as big it no it wouldn't have been published how many, uh, the, the map file is already huge. That was, that was one it's, thing I noticed, is it was a... It it's was compressed. A, yeah. Well, it's like a tenth of a gig. Still pretty big as far as Minecraft maps go. Well, it's also only this. I didn't load anything other than this because I wanted to keep it small. Smart. It's the portal. There's the stupid dungeon I don't like. There's the cool dungeon I really like. Wow. Very impressive. Well, Tanner, thank you for taking time out of your uh, busy day in your game development. Was yeah, the, no. I'm going to have to I ask you to calm really down. You're, you're here at like a 10. We need you to bring it down to like a 5, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to calm down. Yeah, let's see. All right. Ah, much better. Well, uh, Tanner's always looking for playtesters for stuff. So, uh, do you have any other do you have any other shameless plugs you like to throw in here at the end? I'd I'd love it if anyone wants to play the map. I I love watching people post YouTube videos of it. It brings me much personal joy. I get nothing out of anyone playing the map, but just. I love um, people enjoying the work that I, you know, put a lot of time into. So it's nice. All right. Well, thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>